Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Filmora and I'm here to empower your inner video creator. We launched Filmora 9 last month and it has a ton of new features. If you haven't tried it out yet, there's a link below. Click install and download it and give it a shot. If you didn't know already, Filmora 9 has up to 100 video tracks. And that means you have more space to use your green screen and blue screen compositing effects. What is compositing? Simply put, compositing is when you take two or more clips and you combine it into one. That's how green or blue screen works. So you want to see how we achieve this effect? Let's get started. Let's say you want to composite these two clips together. The first clip is with your actor, performing in front of a green screen. The second clip is your background footage. First, you want to place your background footage in the first track. Anything you place above this track will be shown above it. If you have many tracks stacked on top of each other, the top one will be the one in the foreground, and the bottom one will be the one in the back. Next, we will place the green screen and blue screen footage on the track above. Now that we have the clips aligned, we will use the chroma key to get rid of the green screen. You can do this by right-clicking on the clip in the timeline, selecting green screen, and checking the chroma key green screen feature. After that, you can tweak the setting until it looks right. Offset, tolerance, and alpha channel allow you to adjust the clarity of your background, while edge thickness and edge feather enables you to fix the edges of your subjects. I think this looks pretty good. And you will often find that your frame will capture a part of your set that isn't a part of the subject or the green screen. As you can see here in the example, there is stuff in the frame that you don't need. You cannot key it out, but you also don't want it in your final video. Here's how you do it. Right click on your green screen footage in the timeline. Then select crop and zoom. Here you can crop out the extra space or the object by grabbing one of the corners and adjusting it so that it is out of the frame. After that, play back the video and make sure your subject never leaves the new smaller area that you have cropped. Once it looks good, click OK. There you go. I hope you go out and make some green and blue screen videos you could be proud of. And if you do, we would love to see it. So share your links in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more video editing tips and tutorials. See you guys next time.